Hi, my name is Chris Araldi. I'm a product and applications development engineer here at Roman America in Sanford, Maine, where we make Acrolyte acrylic sheet products, including Acrolyte digital print sheet, which is what we're going to talk about today. Uh, first, I'd like to start by thank, uh, thanking the folks at Mamaki for having us along on their uh, webinar for the Global Innovation Days. It gives us a great opportunity to talk about um, not just our digital print sheet, but just the, the wide range of applications that you can use our digital print sheet um, for. Um, I should say that uh, these demos that I'm going to show you were printed by the folks at Mamaki on either their JFX 200-2513 printer or on their UJF uh, 7151 Plus 2 uh, printer. Um, I'll just give you a brief overview of, of uh, digital print sheet before we get into the applications. Uh, we make two versions of it. One of them is, is the regular digital print sheet. The other one is a di digital print marker board sheet, and we're going to have demonstrations for both of those. Digital print sheet um, is similar to a standard acrylic sheet, except it's got a specially uh, formulated co-extruded cap layer on one side. And what this does is it provides uh, outstanding ink adhesion for these UV curable flatbed printers that just standard acrylic can't provide, either extruded or cast a regular acrylic in many cases, if not most cases, uh, the ink just won't uh, stick to it very well. Um, it may not become apparent initially when you uh, do the printing, but then potentially in post-printing fabrication steps such as cutting, routing, drilling, etc., uh, the ink will, will chip or in the worst cases actually uh, delaminate, peel right off of, of, the, uh, of the product. So um, the, the, the great benefit of Acrylite Digital Print Sheet is the enhanced ink adhesion. That, that's the home run. Um, and you, you don't have to use a primer either. I, I should mention that. You can use a primer if you want on, on regular acrylic and, and that might help some. Uh, with the Acrylite Digital Print Sheet, you don't need to use a primer at all. Uh, the ink will stick uh, great right directly to the acrylic, so your, your, your efficiency is obviously going to go up and, and, and you're going to save the safety and environmental issues uh, wiping sheets down with, um, with a primer. Acrylite Digital Print Sheet still provides all of the uh, positive characteristics of acrylic as well. It, uh, it's lightweight, it's uh, got crystal clear uh, clarity, and it's also easy to fabricate. We, you can fabricate Acrylite Digital Print uh, in the same way that you fabricate with standard acrylic with, uh, with one exception. Uh, we don't recommend flame polishing because that will actually damage that co-extruded layer. But every other fabrication step uh, that we've tested, you, you can uh, do it the same on digital print sheet as you can on on a regular um, acrylic sheet. I'd like to start by talking about why. Why do people want to print on acrylic sheet as opposed to other uh, media types? There's a few parts to the answer. Uh, the first part is that you just get a really beautiful uh, stunning appearance when you print on acrylic sheet. This is a sample POP display uh, application that the folks at Mamaki put together for us for a make-believe snack pie there. So this is printed on 5.6 millimeter Acrolyte digital print sheet and it's printed second surface and then the final parts were cut out um, on their laser. So laser cutting is going to give you that nice glossy uh, appearance um, that really shows off some of the great qualities of acrylic. You get that nice crystal clear edge, nice, nice uh, laser cut edge. It's really really beautiful and, the, and the, the the stand was also cut from that same sheet that's also acrylite digital print that just wasn't printed so that's part one of the answer is that you get that really beautiful appearance uh, when you print on acrylic the second part of the answer is that you know acrylic has so many other good qualities as well such as ease of fabrication um, all of the fabrication steps that are done to um, standard acrylic can be done on Acrylite digital print sheet with one exception we recommend against flame polishing because that open flame can uh, can burn the printable cap layer all other all other uh, fabrication steps are are able to be performed on Acrylite digital print sheet and of course being acrylic um, it's half the weight of glass and several times more breakage resistant as well so you put all that together and you get a really good solution for things like POP displays uh, when printing on Acrylite Digital Print Acrylic. In the previous segment we viewed a sample POP display um, for the, uh, the make-believe uh, snack cakes and 
We'd like to go back now and show you the printing and cutting operation that Mamaki performed to create that. On this, they're using their UJF 7151 plus 2 printer. And of course, this video is sped up, um, but you can see this printer uh, printing, um, printing that image on the uh, Acrolyte digital print sheet. And as it comes out here, you can see that, of course, it was printed second surface. So that clear poly masking is again on the other side uh, for inspection purposes. Okay. So now placing that um, printed image into their Trotec laser to cut out that um, that that uh, printed part. You can see that there's some some uh, registration marks there around the image. So the laser is going to go over and it's going to search for those registration marks so that it knows where to cut. So this will take a moment for it to scan all four of the uh, of the registration marks. There's another one. And now that it's found all four of the marks, it's going to go ahead and it's going to start cutting. And it's going to go all the way around that um, that printed image. And again, this is sped up a little bit too in the interest of time. So we were talking about laser cutting a little bit in the previous segment. It just gives you that really nice glassy edge uh, that people uh, love in acrylic, love with acrylic sheet. So in the meantime, they've gone ahead and they've cut the stand also from acrylic uh, from that same piece. You can see that it's got the poly masking on it, but it's clear acrylic digital print sheet as I demonstrated in that previous segment. Okay, what I'd like to do for you now is an ASTM uh, D3359 ink adhesion test. And ink adhesion is really the, uh, the, the primary characteristic of Acrylite Digital Print, and that's what separates it from uh, standard non-digital acrylic. It's that it's, it has the ability to uh, maintain a good ink adhesion, not just um, initially, but after printing. Uh, if you were to do uh, post-printing fabrication steps, such as routing, cutting, drilling, etc., uh, you'd maintain that good adhesion and we've got a demonstration later with one of our um, with one of our fabrication projects uh, where that uh, where that's demonstrated where you can see that the ink adhesion uh, initially seems to be pretty good until you run a router through a sample and then uh, the ink adhesion changes so I've got some samples here I've got some color blocks this one is on our digital print sheet Oops. and this one is on our uh, standard acrylic sheet um, non-digital so I'm going to do my uh, my test here on a couple of these squares. This one happens to be uh, white flooded, uh, just because that's a pretty common practice in the industry. So I'm going to um, start by taking my claw hammer here and and, and uh, scoring a cross hatch. I'll do it in a couple of spots here on each sample. So just bear with me for just a moment. That one didn't cut through very well. There we go. And then I'll do the same thing on this piece of, of uh, standard. Let me make sure I've got the same colors here. Oops. See that this uh, non-digital one is, is failing already. Just the, the simple scratch test is pulling a lot of that ink right out. So then, what we would do is put this um, special tape that's specified for this test across each one of those crosshatch grids. Almost done here. So after applying this tape, I'm going to just use the uh, blunt end of this tool to wet that out a little bit, make sure that the tape is is adhered in both directions. 
and then we go to do the pull test. So the Acrolyte digital print, and we go to do that pull, we get no, no loss of adhesion. That square is still the same as it was when I put that tape on. And then the non-digital acrylic, this ink is pulling off um, pretty readily. So, so that's really the advantage of Acrolyte digital print is that you maintain that excellent ink adhesion, uh, not just initially, but all the way through your uh, the fabrication steps. We've got a video posted on our YouTube channel uh, showing this test uh, as well. Okay, I've moved locations now because I'd like to show you another application where Acrolyte Digital Print Sheet is a natural, and that's, that's in uh, artwork on the wall. So in this case, we're looking at a, a poster size print that's on the wall. Uh, again, it's, um, I'm trying to minimize reflections here. This is again um, our Acrylite digital print sheet. You can see that you still get that nice acrylic edge. This is not a laser cut edge, but you still get that nice finished edge anyhow. And you get that, you know, very uh, nice appearance. This one is, is uh, glossy. You can see some reflections there as well. Um, so another application for digital print sheet is, uh, is, is artwork. And in this case, we, we've mounted it directly to the wall um, with these little, um, these little button type mounts. And you could also use standoffs if you wanted to get a little bit more dramatic appearance. And um, hopefully I will be able to show you that later on in the presentation. Okay, this was printed on a Mamaki JFX 200-2513 uh, for your information. Now we'd like to demonstrate the printing operation for that work of art that was demonstrated in the previous segment. That bottle that was held up at the beginning of this clip is our Acrofix AC1010 anti-static cleaner. In those cases where static may be a problem with ink deflection uh, disturbing your prints, uh, we've done some testing with Mamaki and it was determined that, that that's a very effective solution for eliminating static um, in those cases. So that's a good product to keep in mind if that's a problem for you. So even though this video is sped up quite a bit, you can see that the uh, ink for the image and the white flood is being applied at the same time and it's also being uh, UV cured so that there's no drying required. Essentially once the image is printed it's it's ready to go. So as it's removed from the bed here you'll see that the image is printed and the clear poly masking is still on that first surface. Since this was printed second surface you can inspect your final artwork uh, right through that clear poly masking. And again JFX 2513EX is the printer that this was printed on. And to continue the theme with the artwork this is a second image that we've got hanging in one of our offices. So it's the same as the other one. You've got that nice um, glossy digital print image mounted to the wall with these uh, little um, surface mount, these little button mounts. Really, really sharp picture to hang on your wall. And while we're on the topic of artwork with uh, for use with our digital print sheet, here's, here's the third and final one that I'm going to show you that's in one of our offices. Um, mounted to the wall with these um, with these surface mounts, these button mounts. Again, this was printed on the Mamaki JFX 200 with, um, I think it was their LH100 ink that they used. So again, very nice, uh, very nice printed result. Another application that I'd like to show you is um, for signage or uh, illuminated, um, not just illuminated signs, but illuminated uh, POP displays. Um, so signage certainly is, is uh, an example of that. This is a case where we've got some, some uh, materials printed and then again this is on our Acrolyte digital print sheet. So I'm going to just peel this line off and place it into our, into our little display. This might be case where you're selling uh, you know jewelry um, in a store so that might be your display um, during certain times of the day or during certain circumstances and then you could illuminate it and uh, make an illuminated display just to show another example of, of a uh, of an application where a digital print sheet can be used um, used in the field So that's un unilluminated and illuminated. So again, signage, 
storage displays are good examples of this. And here's another example of, of of some illuminated signage. So we showed you the uh, jewelry one. I should mention that these were printed on the uh, Mamaki um, JFX 200 2513 as well. So we've got an image here. The other one was jewelry. This one's this one's a watch. So we're going to peel that off. We'll print it on our Acrylite digital print sheet. So unilluminated, and then you can turn it on, and you can see that um, illuminated um, sales display. Okay. I should mention too that uh, for something like this to work, you obviously need a lighting panel. In our case, um, we, we make a product called um, Acrylite LED Light Guiding Edgelet, uh, informally called Enlighten. It's a product uh, that was known as Enlighten several years ago. So, um, so it's a lighting panel. It's a clear piece of acrylic sheet. Don't mean to get sidetracked here. So we've got a, it's a clear piece of acrylic sheet, but it's a but it's a light guide. So you put it in with the LEDs along the edges, and then place the uh, image on top of it, and you go from a standard image, standard display, to to an illuminated display. Again, different times of day or different circumstances where the illumination might come in handy. Okay. One more application demonstration that I'd like to show you uh, uses a slightly different version of our Acrylite digital print uh, sheet. This one is called Digital Print Marker Board. Okay, so what this is, is it's still our Acrylite digital print sheet on one side. It's got um, that same corkscrew cap layer on that one side for printing. And then on the front side, or on what you'd use as the first surface, you've got a marker board coating. So you kind of get a, you know, the best of two products in one. In this particular case, this is kind of a demo board for our Acrylite Digital Print Marker Board products, uh, showing some of the uh, benefits of it. Um, no residual ghosting um, on that marker board surface is, is obviously one of the big ones for a marker board product. In this case, you can print on the back, you can print this custom graphic, whatever you want, and then white flood it. So it looks like a whiteboard. Uh, this is really not a whiteboard because it's printed on the back, so it's, it's, it's clear sheet, um, printed second surface. So I don't know if I can catch that on the camera or not, but that's a piece of clear acrylic sheet that's simply printed white on the back. So it looks like a whiteboard, um, but it's not. And you've got the benefit of being able to customize it uh, to your liking with, uh, with your graphics. We've seen these used in um, you know, restaurants for menu boards. We can write the special of the day, for example. We've seen it um, done in... Uh, things like hospitals where a nursing station might need to keep track of patients. They print a grid on the back um, with uh, information regarded to um, uh, different uh, rooms in the hospital wing. We've seen it done for uh, customer service areas, for example. We've got one here in our building where um, use it like a tally board where you know events are, are kept track of or, or in and out, that kind of thing. So there's, there's a lot of different ways to use digital print marker boards. So again, it's digital print on the back side and then on the front side you've got our marker board coating bear with me while I write this out so it's still Acrylite digital print but it's the marker board along with it let just take our, our eraser here and cleans right off. So it's yet another application that you can use our Acrylite digital print for, in this case, digital print marker board. We've got one more fabrication demonstration to show you today. And this one was provided for us by our friends down at Cutworks in Irving, Texas. Um, you see that they made this nice little uh, POP fragrance display uh, using a number of our products. They use some Acrylite digital print sheet as well as some black uh, non-digital grade sheet uh, to make the cabinet or at least most of the cabinet. Um, the printing operations here were performed on a Mamaki printer. The routing operations were performed on Cutworks' Apex series of routers. 
And there's also well, some other steps involved here. They did some lighting and they uh, did some cementing as well. So several fabrication steps are involved in this terrific display. So really nice job by Cutworks uh, making this. Um, it's important to note that that black trim piece in the front that had the logos on it uh, was not a piece of, of uh, actual black sheet. That was Acrylite digital print sheet. It was printed with the logos and you can see by the way they're tilting it there. It was printed with the logos and then essentially flooded with on the rest of it with black ink just to give it that appearance of black and make it match the uh, actual black cabinet. So um, that's kind of a, a neat little way just to uh, make a colored piece as opposed to uh, printing on an entire sheet of, of, of black material uh, to use acrylic, clear acrylic digital print. Um, we, we do offer digital print in colors such as, uh, such as black. Uh, we've also made several grades, uh, several shades of white for uh, some customers of ours. Um, all of those uh, materials are made to order. If we make black digital print sheet or white digital print sheet or whatever other color you might need, um, those would be made to order. So if that's something uh, that, that interests you, uh, please feel free to reach out and we can fill you in on, on any particulars that would be involved in um, making that. But again, this is just clear sheet that was printed and um, we'll be watching that router finish up here this, this, uh, this operation. As we finish this up, the, uh, the, the next few slides are going to show um, an ink adhesion uh, demonstration as how it relates to an actual fabrication operation. Um, what the folks at Cutworks did was they printed these two pieces of acrylic with the identical graphic. Um, the first sheet, the, the sheet closest to us is Acrylite Digital Print and the one in the back is uh, Acrylite Premium um, Non-Digital, the standard acrylic. So after they printed them, they've uh, they're going to be running this router right down the middle and sacrificing these sheets just to show us how the routing operation can make a, a situation uh, maybe look a little different than you thought. It looked like the ink was adhering well as, as it was printed, no, no issues you know, right off the printer, but then once you run that router through it, uh, that's when, when the story changes a little bit here. So the piece in the front, Acrylite Digital Print Sheet, as they zoom in here in a second, you'll see that the cut there is just nice and smooth and clean and sharp and there's no issues at all with that uh, cut uh, from the router when it's printed on digital print sheet. And then you'll see the one in the back, which is the uh, non-digital sheet, you'll see the chipping, especially on the right side of that cut, both in this video and then there's a still shot coming up here where you can really see the chipping quite well on that one side. So that shows again the value of the enhanced ink adhesion for uh, with digital print sheet. So once again, we'd like to Say a big thank you to the folks at Cutworks for helping us with this display. Another topic that I'd like to demonstrate for you is how our Acrylite digital print uh, sheet compares to some competitive products uh, that are out there. One of the things that we aimed for is to have a nice water clear edge color like we've talked about a few times already. We wanted our Acrylite digital print sheet to look as much like regular old acrylic sheet as possible. So on the left side, you, th these are edge color samples. We, we, we um, have this method for looking at edge color in house here, some nice long pieces. And on the left, you've got standard, uh, our standard Acrylite premium sheet. In the middle, you've got Acrylite digital print. And on the right, you've got a competitive product. And you'll notice that the two on the left look very, very similar, almost the same edge color, whereas the one on the right's got a distinct uh, blue or violet appearance. So. Um, we don't want that, of course, we want ours to look as water clear as possible, so um, that's one of the things that, um, that we build into Acrylite Digital Print. Another thing that we, that we do is to, um, we use a special polyethylene masking to try to um, minimize static. We know that static can be a problem when you print uh, on, on acrylic sheet, any, any plastic really, uh, static is going to be an issue, so we try to minimize that. Um, as much as possible um, with our masking choices. We, we use special uh, reduced static masking um, to, to try to uh, make that as small a problem as possible. It still can pop up every now and then where you see some ink deflection and, and it causes problems for you for, for a variety of reasons. Um, there, there's a lot of uh, static mitigation techniques that you can do, um, that you can use. I know there's some 
some special wands and, and uh, ionizing ear nozzles and things like that that you can use to blow across the sheet. Um, uh, one thing that we uh, we found success with a uh, slightly different uh, method here. Let me just show you first. Um, this is an example of some ink deflection, and I don't know if you can see on on this uh, person's nose that there's a little bit of ink bleed in from the black over onto her nose. So that piece uh, was for some reason affected by static. And over here on this one, uh, there is none. Um, so again, that can be a problem on a lot of plastics from time to time. And what we found uh, works pretty well is, and, and we've done some testing uh, with the folks at Mamaki on this, is uh, the use of our Acrofix 1010 uh, anti-static cleaner. Um, I think uh, the word that, uh, that they used to describe their results were terrific or outstanding. Um, not only is this a, you know, our, our recommended acrylic cleaner, but it's anti-static, um, as we say on the label there. And in, in the case of printing on, on acrylic, uh, you know, where, where static might be a problem from time to time, um, this is a great solution uh, that we're able to identify. So I hope you found our tour of all the applications that you can do with Acrolyte Digital Print Sheet to be helpful. Um, one final thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to show you um, where you can find some information about this product on our website. Um, so give me a moment and I'll make my way to in front of a computer screen and, and I'll tour you through our website which is going to include a list of frequently asked questions about the product. Um, and also uh, we'll talk a little bit about our uh, technical and fabrication brief that applies to Acrolyte Digital Print. Well, I've made my way to in front of a computer screen here, and I'd just like to take a few minutes to tour you through our website, acrolyte.co, just to give you an idea of the kind of information that we've got available here for Acrolyte Digital Print and where to find it. So if you go to our, our website, which is acrolyte.co, there's not an M at the end of it, it's just acrolyte.co, hover over the word products on the main menu at the top, Go over to the left where it says our brands and Acrolyte Digital Print is under the Acrolyte brand family. So Acrolyte, click on Digital Print on the right and that'll bring you to our Acrolyte Digital Print landing page. So what we've got on this page, uh, for example, we've got a list of features and benefits here in the middle of the screen, many of which we've uh, talked about uh, during this webinar. At the bottom of the screen, we've got our, our list of products within this Digital Print family. The standard product that we make all the time is our clear Acrolyte digital print, uh, color code 0M007. And our standard thicknesses in general are going to be uh, 0.118 inches, 0.177 inches, and 0.220 inches. Everything else on this list is probably going to be uh, made to order. Um, so we've got some white digital prints, a few flavors of white. We've got some black digital print. We've got some P99 digital print that we've We've made all these things um, made to order for uh, customers in the past. Also on this page, in the, in this, on this menu bar in the middle, you'll see a tab for product video. And this is a crosshatch adhesion test demonstration similar to the one that I did during this webinar. So if you'd like to watch this again, come on over to this page and you can watch it. And you can also see it on our YouTube channel. And then there's a resources tab also on that menu bar. And there's two documents here that I'd like to show you really quickly. First, there's a product FAQs for Acrolyte Digital Print. So if you click on that, it brings you up this uh, very comprehensive list of, of frequently, frequently asked questions about this product. And this is probably going to address 95% of the questions that people would have about Acrolyte Digital Print. And again, I, I don't want to go into detail about this because we've, we've addressed um, most of these throughout the course of this webinar, but we, we talk about things like uh, ink adhesion, we talk about edge color, for example, down here, we talk about uh, our moisture control packaging, backlighting we talk about. This last one here that I'll click on is about static electricity and, you know, how, how, to, how to combat the effects of static electricity if it's affecting your print. So that's a, a quick look at, at the product FAQs that we've got posted on our digital print page on our website. And also on this resources tab, we've got a uh, document, Acrolyte Digital Print Technical and Fabrication Brief. And also not, uh, I won't be going into detail on this now, but we talk about uh, applications that digital print is used for and, and some of the features of it, such as the packaging, the masking, etc. We talk about uh, various fabrication steps, you know, including cleaning, 
um, cementing, um, edge finishing, cutting with saws, cutting with lasers, and those are all fine. Uh, digital print works well with all of those fabrication steps. The only one that we recommend against, like I mentioned during the uh, presentation earlier, was uh, flame polish. We, we recommend against it because we know that the flame polishing is going to uh, burn that uh, printable um, cap layer on, on the digital print sheet. We didn't talk at all about thermal forming. Um, that one's going to be highly dependent on, on the ink that you're using. Uh, you'll need to uh, get in touch with your printer manufacturer to see if the ink that you're using is thermal formable or not. Uh, some of them are, uh, many of them are not. So uh, that's a topic to take up with them. And that's a, a quick uh, tour of that uh, technical information sheet that we've got posted on our website and all of the other things um, as well on this digital print landing page on our website just to try to give you some, some additional information or if you uh, had, a, had a question that, that um, might just need a quick answer, you could probably find it here on our website. If not, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we'll be putting a slide on the screen here in a few minutes about uh, how to contact us. We've got uh, names and telephone numbers and email addresses and all that stuff. You can uh, feel free to reach out to us and ask us a question about digital print sheet uh, that you couldn't find an answer for or any of our products for that matter. We're always happy to try to help you uh, with this. And uh, along that vein, we're going to be uh, sitting tight here for a um, Q&A session in just a few moments. So, so hang on and we'll be uh, joining you for the uh, Q&A session uh, shortly. Thank you for joining us today.